five, four, three, two, one, go. Okay, hi everybody. Actually, can we turn the music up? Hi everybody, my name is Mike Ayataka. This is Hoop Balance uh, Recap. Uh, I officially, on camera, do not care what you do with this video. Actually, it'd be great if you posted it somewhere and tagged me. That'd be awesome. Uh, <laughs> so, we're gonna get into Hoop Balance. Um, I'm just gonna kind of run through it pretty quick, okay? So, the first uh, three tips for Hoop Balance. Um, the first one is actually a rule. Look at the top the whole time, not here. Here, look at the top the whole time, please. Second tip, try to breathe. Third tip is about this placement hand. Make sure that they're not too close because that makes it wobbly, so we want them here. And make sure that you let go carefully in a new position. If I let go and it's falling to the side, reset. That was too far. Oh, oh, that's nice, that's a good spot. Now I am going to commit to the balance, okay? So, look at the top, breathe, let go cautiously and carefully and intentionally. We did our first balance in the palm of our hand along the middle line of our middle finger. Try to have as much contact as you can there, but don't scoop the hoop up, relax into the hoop. Don't let these other fingers ride up. Definitely don't get in the habit of grabbing the hoop like this to reset. Either let it fall and catch it with the other hand, or just let it fall, okay? When we're doing this, your hoop doesn't need to be in front of your face. It can be on the native side of your body, of the arm that you're balancing it on. If this is comfortable, practice balancing it straight, high, low, in with this edge past our face, okay? Don't get caught up in having it in one spot, and don't force this elbow to be sucked in here, okay? Relax. Then we talked about balancing with the hoop out to the side. Either reach over and place the hoop to the side, let go and open up, or start our regular balance in our hand like this and open our body up relative to the hoop, okay? Try to get a totally straight arm, totally open, and this is the prerequisite for the roll, okay? Well, let's see. Then we talked about the hand transfer. Again, practice having the hoop here for the hand transfer, so that we don't need to reach so far to find this point. When we do the hand transfer, we find our fingertip of our balance hand with our wrist, both hands and the hoop all balanced together for a moment. Practice this position here, then pull the back hand out. We need to be able to actively balance the hoop in the middle of the move, not just pass through that, okay? So practice that, please. And then you can do it fast and easy, okay? Once you can do it slow. Then we did the back of our hand. We talked about the back of our hand that's actually the back of our fingers, okay? We kind of did this weird thing where we tried to relax our fingers into the hoop so we have more surface area and not so much pushing on the hoop, relax into the hoop. When we do this in front of us, don't let the hoop interact with the back of your hand. So not here, here. Small difference, that's all you need, okay? We do it in front of us. Resist having a straight arm, relax. Break the line of your arm so that it doesn't interact with the hoop, okay? Then we did it on the back of our hand in front of us, and this is where we introduced the fourth rule or tip for hoop balance. And if we have to look at the top the whole time, don't just lean right back with your neck. Look with your eyeballs first, and then a little bit of your neck if you need to. This way we can save our neck for training, okay? When we're balancing in front of us here on our wall plane, it's much more of this out and in motion. Don't let your hand turn when you do this. Keep it in plane. It's in front of us here. Uh, we also did it on our palm. When we do it on our palm here, we often have to bring this elbow in so that this is flat and horizontal, okay? The, at that point, we begin to introduce fingertip balance because that's the middle point of our butterfly. When we do a butterfly, we don't want to just pass through this moment. We want to be able to actively balance here. So that means we have to get comfortable with our fingertip balance. So the practice that I recommend, starting in a hand balance, lift, set it, catch it back down in the hand balance. This is a really good habit to get into for training the fingertip 
balance. When you do the fingertip balance, you lift up, don't pull too far, otherwise the hoop will fall forward. If that's happening a lot, one thing you can do is think about scooping, oops, you can think about more of an out and up motion instead of an in and up motion. That will help keep your fingertip at six o'clock a little bit better. Um, we talked about our forearm balance. Once we start to move towards our torso, we have to soften our knees. We have to get ready to move our whole body to balance the hoop instead of just our arm, okay? Have the hoop closer to your elbow than your wrist. Have your hand kind of straight or down. Uh, if you want to get it to move to your hand, really just think about overextending your elbow there. It should roll. If you want it to get to go back, try to find that tipping moment as gently as possible. Okay, we're not just boop, sending it back. Um, we briefly touched on face balance, just like don't lean too far for any of these things. Find the minimum that you need to bend your neck. When we do it on our nose, don't do it on like the deep part because it's in front of your eyes. Have it on the bony part of your nose right there. And as soon as my hoop comes there, my knees soften, right? Everything is ready to move with my whole body. Um, and then yeah, when you're measuring your success, especially with the face balance, but also with the other balances, don't focus on the amount of time that you're able to balance the hoop. Focus on how many times you're able to like correct and save and bring the hoop back under control. It's much more relevant than how long it was there. Cool. Sweet. Thanks, everybody. Yay. Sweet. Group photo over here.